My son, people on the earth always argue about deeds. To deal with this issue, go and search for Shikyakubu and ask him that, where does the deeds of human go to heaven or hell? Shikyakubu. Who is this Shik? I guess. Grandpa. Grandpa. Grandpa, where are you? Grandpa, who is Shikyakubu? Yakubu. Yeah, Yakubu yeah, is dead for 40 years now. No, Grandpa, he is not dead. I need this old man to ask him questions, and I know for real he is not dead, Grandpa. Why? God, why not? This little boy has no right to know about hell, besides, he is too young. I am going to search for this old man now. Bye, bye, Grandpa. Young boy, what brought you here? If a non-Muslim does good deeds, where he will go, heaven or hell, according to Islam? This is a logical question you ask. And the old man answered him. Allah likes someone he opens the doors of Islam to them. That's what I believe. They might live as Hindu, Christian and Jew, but if they were kind and fair they will die as Muslims. Islam would be presented to them and they would accept it. I know people will become Quran quoters here and mention ayahs regarding disbelief but that's a very crude level of understanding. All the good people of the world have blessing of a kind heart, from God. Muslims are encouraged to respect them, be kind to them and treat them with honor. Then whether they accept Islam or reject, that is their relation with God. Many example in history, when a tribe of Arabia fought with Prophet of Islam, the Prophet fought back to preserve himself and his group. However, upon conquering the battle he treated them with kindness and respect. Hearts and minds aren't won over by threats of eternal doom. The divine punishments mentioned in Quran will only strike fear in heart of a believer, a disbeliever will make mockery of it. So it's to keep believers on the right track. Fighting is to preserve ourselves not to humiliate others. A kind person won't make random black and white judgment about any religion, there is always depth and nuances. And a merciful God wouldn't make harsh judgments either. Islamic faith and divinity teaches its followers that, although divine power is just, its kindness surpasses its judgment. I was told by a sheikh, main scholar, speaker of main masjid in Lahore, old school family, traditional Muslims, that there was Hindu man named Gangaram I think, who was a philanthropist and his hospital still operates in Lahore and helps and services many. So the head of main masjid said do not say he was a Hindi so what do his good deeds matter, because good deeds always matter. What do we know? At time of his death he might have had a spiritual experience that would have helped him embrace submission to Allah. That is Islam to me by good authority. Preserve our identity sure, embrace as our religion as the only authentic one, sure but be compassionate and kind and respectful to any upstanding person of any creed and then their faith is with their God and so is their fate. Hope your question is answered. Yes, Shikiakubu. Thanks for watching.